Uh, but the past is the past is up for yeah. for discussion. That's the no past way. is up for discussion. Presence I would good. be thrilled if somehow or another they were able to work it out where Jimmy Smith was at the UFC. We shall see. That would be what I would like to see. We shall see how that goes. I would like to see that. We will. That they, that's a big fuck up. Yeah, man. It was. Um, let me say, like, uh, just a little background. Cause a lot of people have been asking me. I haven't made any real public statements other than... I'm not than, a Bellator hater, I just want to say. Yeah, no, Bellator... Never yeah, been a Bellator yeah. hater. Respect. Yeah. I, I enjoy watching it. I like the fighters. Yeah. And I've always told everybody that you were the best out there. Thank you, you so do, much. You do an amazing job. I really appreciate that. Um, number one, yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's not a Bellator thing. I mean, they, they were great to work with. They were great about the, the whole breakup thing. They um, fucked up! Just say it! <laughs> Someone say it! Yeah, so it, what happened was I was... I had a I had a, a, a deal with a, with an option year and, and 2018 was my option year, and when I was in uh, Verona, New York, doing the Verona show, my boss sat me down and he said, "We're not going to renew 2018. We want a different we want a different deal." And when they come to you and say we want a different deal, well, they want I, a downgrade. It's never it's yeah. never your, when your girlfriend comes to you and says, "I want to talk." It's never I, I don't give enough blowjobs. That's never <laughs> that's never what they they never say that. It's always I'm going to be a better girlfriend. Exactly. Yeah. It's Sorry. it's always bad. It's always bad. So right. yeah, that was it. When they were like, uh, "We want to change the deal around," I was like, "Okay." And they did make a, a like an honest effort to keep me. They 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 really tried, but they just. They didn't make an offer that was that was worth me coming back, and that that was pretty much the deal. So it, it was kind of an amicable, comparatively amicable. It's fascinating to me about. that in in the world of uh, mixed martial arts, professional mixed martial arts, there haven't been that many people that have done you what you and I both yes. do. This yeah. is a small handful of people. You know, you know, the weird thing is about our job, really, and and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Um, everybody thinks they got a guy. It's it's one of those jobs that everybody thinks they can do. That they they really go. We'll just throw a fighter and then he'll be able to do it. I've seen, I don't know how many the that they want to do. You know, even locker room interviews. Are we going to get next fighter to do that? And it's a it's a job. It's a it's skill. A it's, it's really. I mean, it's it's one of those things where everybody thinks they can throw somebody in and do it. And I've seen, I don't know how many try. And it's it's tough. You really have to work at it or have a knack for it. It's it's not the kind of thing that, you know, it, it's almost like coaching. I mean, how many times have you heard? I've heard of great, great jujitsu guys. I'm like he's just not a great. He's naturally yeah. really good. He's not that good at teaching it because to him it just works. And then you try it and it doesn't work. You know, it's one of those things where a great fighter isn't a great coach. Right. A Sometimes. Great, yeah. yeah. A great fighter isn't necessarily a great broadcaster. It just doesn't work that way.